Not so long ago, we discovered a new SteamVR dashboard, a complete redesign from the first version that we had since the first HTC Vive, for example. Hey guys, stay here. So guess what? Valve just redesigned it all over again. So let's discover it together. And here we are in the SteamVR home that didn't change much, actually didn't change at all. It's still always the same. What changed is actually the SteamVR dashboard that we're gonna see just in a second. Bear in mind though that this is a beta. I had already some crashes with this version. So if you want a stable uh, SteamVR, probably it's better to wait a little. But if you're brave and you want to install it, well, you can go on the library, right click on SteamVR, go in properties and then in the beta tab and uh, get in in the beta. Restart and well, here you have it with the new dashboard that is over here. Bam. So here we are uh, with the new dashboard. As you can see, is much different from before. It's much smaller, it's curved, something that we never had before. And the design is very similar to the one that we have in the new library on uh, Steam directly. So very nice direction. Also the materials are a little different, little translucent. Everything just looked very, very nice. But this is just really the top because when you go a little more in depth, uh, what well, you're gonna notice that we still have many similarities as before. Nice thing first, and here we have the time and also the battery of the controllers that as you can see is three and three here and three and three there. And uh, well, the section where we are at and the steam button over here that doesn't even work. You can click on it. If you click outside, well, you get out as you can see. But here we are with the first tab where it opens that is actually the library. And uh, well, it's very nice. So you have the recently played over here and then the list of all your games down here. That to be very honest is kind of useless because there's no really a right order. As you can see, K, C, O, S, S, F, C uh, is just all very weird and there's no letters in top so like i think it's gonna change very soon but well it's nice looking i guess uh, but yeah this is the first section if you want to browse a little better you go on browse all and uh, well here we are back to our big picture uh, mode that we are used to so yeah for now we have uh, this little cover up and that's it but it's nice that they're already working on something to make it nicer and the uh, same thing here if we go on the store very nice we have a top single player if you want to buy them we have a top multiplayer if you want to buy them of course it doesn't take in consideration the fact that you already have some games just the list goes over and over doesn't really matter and then we have the top three on the bottom that is very nice because where all the people are gonna get in VR for the first time, uh, getting the index for Half-Life Alex, for example, you're gonna have a nice collection of top three and uh, the top games that there are right now on the VR market. Now, in the middle, we have Steam VR Home. If we can click here, we have this return to home that we go back over here and the controller bindings and video settings. I don't really know why there are these two options as the most important in the middle. Uh, these are the settings, by the way. Maybe it's gonna be customizable in the future. Maybe we're gonna have something more important for this big toggle over here. I don't know. We will see. But then keep going. We have this bar over here. There's the menu that opens Steam. So just click on Steam over here. Turn off the controllers that I'm not gonna do right now. Uh, exit Steam VR Home or Exit VR. And we have the desktop over here with the tabs. If you have multiple desktop like I do, desktop two, desktop one, but still the same problem that if you have an ultra wide monitors, well, we are not many people with the ultra wide monitor, by the way, but if you have an ultra wide monitor, well, everything is gonna look very, very small. Instead, if you have the regular monitor where everything is gonna be fine, you can get closer to it, by the way, without any problem to read. But well, with the ultra wide, you're really, have to get very very close some inception over here <laughs> okay so let's keep going very fast here you have the overlays then right now they're kind of in a little folder where we have vive for example if you have viport like i do 
We have FPS VR over here. There's a great plugin, by the way, always suggested. Or Revive, for example, uh, if you want to play Oculus games on uh, your Valve Index, for example, or any other Steam VR headset. And then over here, Toggle Room View. I'm not going to click it because it uh, crashes every time, but actually show what is the camera and the volume toggle over here with a very nice sound indeed. Then if we go on settings, we're very similar to the one we had before. I'm gonna add the um, advanced one, uh, but yeah, we have a general with uh, everything we had before, play area that is gonna actually f show also our real world around. So here we are, this time that didn't crash. Then the controllers over here, uh, same as before video settings we saw it audio startup and camera if we go on show an advanced settings we have developer settings for with that example the performance in there as well and the dashboard over here uh, we have these controls we have also the opportunity to show the desktop tab or not but there's no option for the desktop to make uh, stuff bigger or smaller well uh, it just disappear from before so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see many more changes in this new design of the dashboard. But overall, what we saw is that it's much smaller than before. It's closer to you, so it's very nice uh, to interact with it. It's kind of similar to the Oculus uh, dashboard, for example, but we can't really touch it. Like, as you can see, it gets in, but nothing get toggled. Because it's so close and because we have a and tracking with the Valve Index would be very nice to actually use our fingers to interact with the dashboard, but something we don't have yet right now. But overall, yeah, this is the dashboard. Let me know what you think about it. I really hope they're gonna improve the desktop part, maybe being able to pull the desktop and put it in your VR games, like it happens on uh, Windows Mixed Reality, for example, or Oculus already from long, long time. And hopefully they're gonna also improve the Steam VR home because, well, it's always the same, interaction is always the same, and putting the dashboard in the Steam VR home will be pretty much amazing. But yeah, this is the situation. I really like the design, I really like the direction, but as I said, this is a beta, so it's gonna keep evolving, and for sure, we're gonna see more and more on this path. And it's nice to be able to see the path that Valve is taking with the Steam VR dashboard for sure, to make it easier for all the people that are gonna arrive in the future. But here we have it, guys. That was also, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more with VR and tech. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.